Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. We got something exciting for you today. The Birds of Prey trailer just dropped, and we are going to break down all the Easter eggs. But I know when I do it, it doesn't get any views. So I brought back my friend, Philip from Pooper. If you guys don't remember, Philip helped me do the breakdown of El Camino, where we uh, did the Pooper uh, pointless clickbait poop list of all the things that you missed in that trailer. I'm so excited to have you back. Welcome back, Philip. Hey, thanks, Andy. Yeah, well, you know, Philip, I'm so sorry uh, that the views weren't as many as we hoped. Yeah, actually, I was hoping I could try a new approach on this one. Perhaps try to lean my voice in a different direction to see if it hits more? Would you be okay with that? Yeah, sure. I'm down to try something new. Great! Okay, well, introducing everybody, uh, the new voice in Easter egg content. I present Philip from Pooper. We loved her in Batman the Animated Series as the Joker's beaten down, psychopathic Harlequin love interest. We jumped up and down in excitement at the idea of her over-sexualized big screen debut from Bombshell Margot Robbie then tolerated her appearance in Suicide Squad. But now it's time for Harley Quinn to kick over the pudding and become her own strong woman. Cause in this new Birds of Prey trailer, they don't need any white clowns to keep them down. So let's tear this trailer apart and show the fake Harley Quinn fans out there why this version of the character is wrong, as well as some Batman Easter eggs you may have missed. Alrighty then. The first shot shows purple on the street. Batman fans may not remember, but Joker wears purple. So clearly this is her walking away from her Mr. J, AKA the man. Later we're in a bar that looks a whole lot like the bar we met her and J-Man in during Suicide Squad, where they made common their cuck. Speaking of cucks, how in this day's time with the SJWs burning down all that's sacred, do they get away with being Warner Brothers? Enjoy it while it lasts, folks, before the names change to Warner People or Warner Binary, but not conforming to the anarchist views of established genders. What is this logo? DC? Why must they bring politics into this? I'm just here to watch some superheroes fight. Leave Washington out of it. Harley is chopping her iconic ponytails to shorter ponytails. This is a travesty, which explains the T around her neck. Uh-oh, someone forgot to add the damage tattoo on his forehead, but didn't forget the odd multicolored gum on the wall. Once again, forcing diversity down our eye holes. This city on fire shot clearly showing the current SJW world we live in, after the illegals come in and the liberals take all of our guns. I have no idea who this character is. Guys, this shot of the olives is clearly a nod to our balls stabbed by wokeness. The little red things they put inside the olive signifies our pure red-blooded American hearts, which they've trampled on. Add to that the inclusion of Rosie Perez, whose character's toughness around these male cops is clearly fighting male privilege, which we all know is a myth. And as we all know, she's always fighting that white men can't jump. Also a myth. I have no idea who this character is. Harley Quinn's getting hyenas? Ugh. Someone should call her out for appropriating Disney henchmen. Sorry, hench them. Am I right? The sickening Disney appropriation doesn't stop there. Look at this awful Lady and the Tramp tribute. That clearly promotes bestiality. Now, Ian McGregor is playing Black Mask. And judging by what I've read on Wikipedia, I'm a huge fan of Black Mask. They say he'll be gay in the film. And this overdramatic moment clearly confirms this. Straight or gay, I don't care, whatever. But what are they gonna do with them? That's what I care about. Apparently the whole plot will be centered around Ian McGregor's gayness. Who asked for this? I'm pretty sure none of us asked for this. Why is it based around that? Why are you pushing this political narrative of gay people? <sighs> Sorry, I just got into a huge debate. I kind of have high energy. Why are you pushing this narrative? Why is the plot centered around this? Who gives a flying crap? Who honestly cares? Cause I don't. Hey, uh, look, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, it just, it sounds like you care. No, 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 I don't. Are you sure? I mean, sure I've thought about what it would be like to be with a man, but you shouldn't act upon it. The Lord is pretty clear about that. I mean, it seems like you care a lot. Oh, shut up, you libtard. He's already being played by a Scottish guy. Why has he got to be groundskeeper Willie and Smithers? It's too many woke points, brah. And here she's dreaming about being Marilyn Monroe? A Democrat's floozy? That's your emancipation? What's next? Cosplaying as Monica Lewinsky or Hillary's emails? I have no idea who these other figures are, but you notice that they are all women. DC clearly stole this whole movie from that one shot in Endgame. Someone over in DC should talk to an ornithologist so they can see that birds come in both genders. That's right, I said both genders. 
She's holding a big hammer! A big hammer! Really? How much more Soviet socialist propaganda will Holly Woke shove down our throats? And now they're stealing from Back to the Future? If only we could go back in time and keep this character the way that she was, and always abused, yet always supportive to her sociopath boyfriend, who shut up and did whatever Mr. J told her to do. Why are we okay with women regaining control and having opinions and friends and equality? You see, this is what happens when women lose the support structure of a good man. Sure, the Joker wasn't the nicest guy, but he always took care of her and he gave her flowers. Take him away and you don't see her running for political office or baking cookies? No, sir. She's out destroying and breaking everything we hold dear. Now I could put two and two together. Four, I am a smart man. But she loses her man, then she goes crazy, and the only people that are hurt are the fine law-abiding people of Gotham and Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm done with DC. I can't support them anymore with this SJW wokeness. They're going in the completely wrong direction. I mean, except for Aquaman and Shazam and Wonder Woman and the new Joker movie looks good, I'll probably give Batman a chance too. And I like that James Gunn is rebooting Suicide Squad. Crisis on Infinite Earths looks pretty sick too. But after all of those, I am done with DC and you should be too. Well, there you have it. 10 things you probably missed from the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad 2 trailer. Be sure to leave a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Also, don't be afraid to hit that notification bell to make sure you get alerted for future pooper videos. Back to you, Andy.